versus we have the opportunity in this moment to encounter each other and be authentic, fully embodied human beings. How do you recognize when someone's being authentic to you? Like, how do you recognize an authentic person? Do you have an answer for that? Um, I believe you can feel it in your body okay. if your mind can be quiet, just like dogs do. Okay? I believe that we can tell in our bodies, if our mind's not going, he's so cute, I want to believe him. Mm. <laughs> okay? She's so hot, I don't care what she says. <laughs> Right. Uh, we can get beyond that and just go, am I safe? Is my body safe? Is my body giving me a message to come close? Or it's time for everyone to stay away or it's time for this person to stay away? Your body was very clear. It's not time right now to be close with these bodies. Perfect. That's information from the body saying the truth about where you're at right now. We trust that. Okay, so you can be sitting across from tables from someone. They're so hot that you go, well, I don't care that I feel really uncomfortable with them. I'm going, this is who I want. Or we can go, my body's not really digging that. Or we can say, I'm not really sure. Takes me a while to warm up, like you're sharing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have another date because I'm not sure. I'm going to have three or four or five dates because I'm not sure. But I don't see any, uh, I don't feel any reason to say no yet. So the mind, I believe, will uh, give us false information often based on our uh, programming, on what we've been programmed to believe is correct. So what we're trying to do as tantric people is we're trying to get more into the authentic sense of what's true in this moment. So that's why I'm having you do an exercise of feel in this moment what it's like to sit with this other person. That's why I had you sit across from each other and just feel, start that practice of, yeah, it takes us a little while to warm up. This is an unusual laboratory here. But how do I feel comfortable? Because that's who I want to hang out with for the next 10 years, is someone that I feel comfortable hanging out on the couch, eating together, being silly, in this body, making love, hopefully for hours. I want our bodies to really connect. Yes, it's nice to like how someone looks, and you'll end up with someone you like how they look, but what's more important is hanging out body to body in this moment and liking that sensation. So you've, so men are afraid of you being relaxed in your body? Yes. I would, uh, so all of us, it's a dance, like we showed with mm -hmm. the foot dance. What am I doing that's helping foster that mm -hmm. sense of being uncomfortable with me? Mm -hmm. I would take responsibility if I'm sitting with you and you're feeling uncomfortable with me. Maybe I want to say something to help them feel comfortable. Maybe I'm being too much of an ice queen, which I can mm -hmm. tend to do. Maybe I'm thinking that they're, they should be uncomfortable with me. I don't know. I would think I want to explore a lot on my contribution to the... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? Always look in the mirror. Always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or am I just attracting men that will be afraid of me? Mm -hmm. Am I afraid to meet someone who's not afraid of me? Many that, things. That, that's the, that landed. That was it? Okay. That landed more. Okay. So all of these questions I would ask myself. Okay. Maybe I only want to attract someone who's not my equal mm -hmm. because I'm scared. Why else do we not attract love? We're scared. We're scared. It's interesting to to uh, to be scared of something that we really deeply want. Right? Isn't that the the paradox? <sighs> but we've been hurt before. Everyone's been hurt before. So we want love so badly, but we've been hurt. So how do we learn to establish trust? One of the things I'm suggesting in such a tiny little workshop as this, I'm suggesting we start to reestablish that trust by having our bodies help us. Because almost all of us, at the end of a relationship that didn't go well, we can look back and we go, I knew right from the beginning that wasn't the right thing to do, but I went ahead and did it anyway. 
and paying more of attention to that little voice that I believe resides in the body that goes, no, he's cute, but no, don't go there. Pay attention to that, then we don't get our hearts broken as much. So I'm trying to offer you a little bit of how to build trust in yourself again, to, to trust love again, which is going to take a while for some of us, because we've been hurt recently, to go back out there and find the love that we are very hungry for. Mm -hmm.